Hey, what is going on everybody, and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7. Now today, we're going to be doing a little crafting, and we're looking for, not necessarily to build a specific unit, but we're just looking for good pieces in general, right? I'm looking always for speed pieces, and uh, always looking for uh, some lifesteal pieces as well, because I'm trying to transition my SSB from injury over to lifesteal, because I think that's still the better build for her. Tested injury out for quite a while, which is not my thing. So, uh, especially because Alencia just does it better. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and start with speed in this episode. So let's go for wyvern uh, pieces, and I think I er, I think I need to go for necklaces. I think I'm missing a lot of speed DPS necklaces and rings. Actually, we'll do a bit of each. So let's just go ahead and jump into it, and let's see what happens. All right. Oh, look at this! Attack and crit damage with crit chance. This could be a pretty decent necklace, because it's an epic piece. Could be a pretty decent necklace. Uh, do I need anyone with an attack? I do need attack necklaces. I'm going to test that for speed. I do need attack necklaces, but the problem is I need them with speed, because I want to put them on units. Um, wow, this also looks good, doesn't it? Right, that could be a great bruiser piece. If it just rolls a ton of HP, that could be great. Um, yeah, I'm looking for specific pieces of gear. Um, fast things and uh, attack. Uh, attack percent main stat needs to be fast because I'm putting on on Hua Young, putting on ML Kalric, putting on a, uh, not ML Kalric, ML Kawazu, and uh, and those types of units. Right, so you don't need a bunch of crit rate and all that other stuff. So let's go ahead and try this piece. A little hesitant, because I don't... I have a couple of good bruiser pieces already, right? Okay, that's dead. Um, let me show you guys. I have a couple of good things already that I've been kind of working on. See, like this piece here? Pretty decent, right? Two rolls into HP, almost max rolled. One four speed roll here, and a max crit damage roll for my last line. So this is a really strong piece. And then uh, this piece here is also pretty good. Uh, one roll into speed. It's a low crit chance starting roll. I think it rolled once into defense and twice into HP. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So, you know, these pieces I'm going to test and only keep if they high roll, right? So I'm trying to keep these videos also um, educational, because I think... Oh, oof. No, I don't want this. This had to... See, for this to have been better than a lot of my other pieces, it had to uh, roll into the correct stats, right? Now, if I didn't have any pieces like this, crit chance necklaces, uh, I would probably keep going and see if I can hit like a few max attack rolls or crit damage rolls. Uh, to see now crit chance necklaces are actually like really good value don't don't fall under the impression that you have to use a crit damage necklace if you have the correct substats of like crit damage in other places like namely chest pieces and stuff you can uh, have really high crit damage chest pieces and still have um, really good crit damage overall while using a crit chance necklace my Bryceria for example uh, uses a crit chance necklace uh, you probably would never be able to tell because of all the damage she does, but that's what she's running. Alright, so let's keep going with this, see what happens. Oh, oh well. Uh, we're gonna keep going though because it's an epic piece. So just because it missed it one time doesn't mean that we just give up on it. So let's see what happens with this one here. Hopefully it's a good roll. And then we can continue. Ooh, now that's bad. Right, low roll attack. That's unfortunate. The first two rolls are promising. I tried not to give it too much uh, attention, but in the end, not so good. All right, let's keep on going here. And we don't have... That's a crit chance. See, I don't want to roll these anymore. I have too many crit chance necklaces with like 18 speed and, and stuff like that, so I don't really need them anymore. Um, I know that there's a potential it can go like 20 plus speed, but I don't use the crit chance stuff because I'm lacking speed set gear. Uh, and if I can't complete the speed sets, then there's no reason for me to complete a bunch of offsets at the moment. 
specifically for necklaces. Uh, there are other pieces that I probably would, like weapons and stuff, but specifically for necklaces, I need more speed. Uh, let's see, crit chance... Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll try it, it's a crit chance necklace. It might be good. Oh, this is now, this is good. Okay. So, crit chance necklace is on a crit set. It's a little weird, but for units like Flutica and things, you can get away with stuff like this, right? If you have units that want 100% crit chance, nope. Uh, something like Shuri, for example. Units that get additional effects from critting, um, they benefit from crit chance necklaces. Or if they just high roll overall, then it's also not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and see if this keeps rolling attack. Nope, it rolls effect resistance. So we don't need that anymore. And uh, we're going to hit our cap real soon. So let's extract these speed set pieces. I might extract everything, actually. Yeah, you know what? I might extract everything because my weekly... Oops, not the stuff I enhanced. My weekly uh, stuff had reset. Let's extract these. My alchemist steeple reset, so I need to feed it stuff to get charms. I'm gonna sell these things though. Right, I like to keep things all in one type of category, so we're just focusing on necklaces right now, so let's keep spamming these. Uh, speed, maybe we check that? I mean, it's. Oh, look at this! Now, this is something good. That can be used on Emma Kawazu, Hua Young. Oh, look at that! Crit chance necklace with effectiveness and speed. This is great. This is not on a speed set, so I don't think I want it. Yeah, I don't think I want it. All right, let's go for this one right here. Throw some garbage in here. Let's see how it rolls. Okay, apparently that was pretty good nutritious garbage because it's rolling pretty good right now. Let's throw one of these in. Ah, oh, nope, okay. Not so much. I went to effect res, which we do not want, and let's try the attack one first, because I have high hopes for that crit chance necklace that we have there. Uh, that did not go into speed. It went to crit chance. If it went to effect res, I would have been fine with it, but I don't want crit chance, because my Kawazu, my um, Hua Young and stuff do not need that. Speed, okay. I mean, we definitely take those. Uh, I mean, yeah. Max roll into speed. I mean, crit damage. We'll take one of. The, I mean, we can afford one bad roll, right? Let's go for another. Let's go for another one. Come on. It's it's been rolling good. Come on, another speed roll, please. Because then that'll be three speed rolls. Please four speed because then that'll take it to 19 speed, and that's an upgrade for Flitica, and I never thought I'd see the day where I get an upgrade for Flitica's necklace again. Ooh, and it didn't. Ah, oh, it's only 14 speed. Not a horrible looking piece, but... Yeah, that's gonna reforge the 14 speed only, unfortunately. Ah, oh, it rolled so well, too. I might feed that to something else, we'll see. Actually, maybe not. I think that's my second fastest speed set crit neck, so we'll probably keep it. Oh, hey, this is a interesting piece, has some speed on it, that's speed set with speed, I'll take that. Okay. Let's test this one here. I know you guys like this series because it's uh, it's fairly chill, right, there's no... No real action going on. I know some of you guys actually have told me in the comments that you put this on in the background when you're just working on stuff, which is pretty cool. Hopefully you're concentrating and I haven't broken the fourth wall here. Go back to doing your work and studying or whatever you're doing. You're doing great at it, by the way. I really uh, think you're doing a good job. Oh, nice. We got speed. Okay, so let's keep on going with this. Uh, missed that, but... Again, it's an epic piece, so we can miss one speed roll, and it'll be okay. One of the reasons why is because when you reforge for speed, you can only get four speed from reforge. Even if you penta roll, or like roll five speed rolls, you can only reforge for four additional speed. Right, so missing a speed roll is fine, and that only really happens on epic pieces. 
because you get five rolls on epic pieces and four rolls on a purple piece, right? So if you miss a roll on the purple piece, it's immediately um, does not have that potential. All right, I don't think anything here is very worth rolling, so let's keep on going. All right, um, hit set attack percent. If it rolls all speed, now this is something I might try. I know it's on hit set, it looks weird, but maybe we can. Some units I have just over capped on crit and I don't need a crit set for them. So let's go for this. Nope, roll four speed, but then rolled flat health. So we can feed this piece into this. Right. Okay, we got some speed going. Let's feed some blue pieces in. Okay, nope, that is not good. Um, let's get back to it. I'm gonna do some rings as well in a bit. Let's do a couple more crafts of this though. Uh, no speed on the attack. <clears throat> uh, speed, uh, HP main stat is good if it's on a speed set for me. I don't really need stuff with a uh, crit set. Alright, so let's go for the extraction. I said I was going to extract everything, right? <clears throat> let's go ahead and do this. I like manually doing everything. I know you can use the auto select, but I don't trust that, right? What if, what if you accidentally extract something really, really good? Alright, let's get rid of those and uh, let's get back to it. We might also do a couple of crafts with my uh, gems and see if we can get anything with that. HP, HP main stat hit sets okay, because you can use those on debuffers, right? That's an epic piece with speed. This is uh, crit damage with speed. Everything else doesn't have speed, right? This looks decent, but it doesn't have speed, so you don't really need uh, crit chance neck with those substats without any speed. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Uh, nope, that is not what we're looking for. Let's go for this one here. Bop in a couple of these. Oh, okay. Got some speed. Throw that in there. Did not get speed, and I'm out. <laughs> so, let's try this one. <clears throat> okay, got some speed there. Let's throw in one of those. Oh, okay, another speed roll. <clears throat> Come on, 12 speed. Mm, 10 speed. We'll keep going. Ah, I missed it. But it's been low rolling speed, right? So right now it's it can reforge, it rolled speed three times, so it can reforge into 13 speed. If I roll another four speed on this, it would be uh, 13, 17, and then reforge for another one, so it's 18 speed. I don't think this is worth it anymore for me. I don't think that one's worth it. Uh, I do not need an 18 speed hit set necklace with like flat HP, <laughs> so. Yeah, we're going to pass on that. Uh, we're going to go for this one here and uh, this one here. That one looks promising. Unfortunately, we can't get any DPS uh, pieces of gear because I'm trying to gear stuff like Green Sid. They need DPS gear, right? So it's really sad when I cannot get any of it. But let's see. Come on, one of these. 12. No. Okay, uh, did I have another? I thought so. I had another one, so let's throw that in here. I don't think I want that. It's a good crit chance roll, but I don't think I want that. Not on a flat defense main. Um, okay. Let's do one more of these real quick. Uh, no d- uh, that? Mm. Uh, I don't know about that. This needs to roll like all pure speed 
for this to be worth it. Okay, low roll speed, but we'll take it. Nine speed? Okay, I mean, we'll, we'll do it. Let's take it all the way. Ah, oh, 13, hey, this is one of my faster um, DPS necklaces. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go all the way. Let's do this. Hopefully I have enough charms. Throw three of these in here. Hope for a good, nope, no good or great success. Throw a couple more. Come on, this needs to roll 17 speed. If I roll 17 speed, I'm gonna be a very, very happy camper. A lot of my guildmates uh, have, uh, with this past hunt event, been getting a lot of high speed pieces, so is it my time to shine? <sighs> and apparently it's not. Is this usable? <laughs> That's... The 16 speed crit damage necklace on a speed set is probably my second fastest, actually. Sadly to say, it's probably it's my second fastest speed set necklace, I believe, on crit damage. Uh, maybe not. Maybe third. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Let's go ahead and test that piece there. Uh, four speed. Okay. Oh man, that was kind of brutal. All right, let's try this right here. One, two, three. Maybe I'll find somebody who can use it. We'll see. You can toy around with gear like that sometimes and just make it work, right? At least as a filler piece. Okay. Let's keep on going. Throw one of these in. Nine? No nine speed. All right, we're gonna stop here with this. Don't really have anyone that wants defense, crit damage, attack. You might be looking at this like it's a great Dilibet piece, but my Dilibet has a pretty nice ring already, so unfortunately that's not what it's gonna be for. I don't really have too many defense scaling units. Lionheart Sermia in the horizon maybe, but I wanna build mine on Life Seal probably, which we're probably gonna chase in another video. We're gonna chase uh, Life Steal gear. Let's go for this. Got some speed. Nope. All right. I like it when it fails early. It saves me a lot of gold, a lot of resources. And then you can just feed the plus three to plus three something else. And nope. Okay. Um... Speed. Ah, effectiveness ring with speed. We'll take that. That's on a crit set, but we'll try it. Flat attack, we'll try it. Attack percent, we'll try it. Maybe a Hua Young ring, it has effect res on it. Okay, let's try this one. See if we can get some speed. Oh, okay. Throw this in there. Speed? Nope. Alright, um, let's go for the crit set HP piece. See if we can get anything from this one. Nope. Alright, let's go for this one here. Oh, we got some speed in there. And no speed on the second roll, unfortunately. Okay, that's the cool piece I want to roll. This is actually also pretty cool. Uh, I want to, I'm excited for both of these actually, so let's see. Never mind, not so much excited for this one anymore. Uh, <laughs> let's try this one down here. Grab one of those, throw that in. Oh, whoops, I had a hit set piece. Uh, that's kind of bad. That's also kind of bad. Okay, I do not need that anymore. Effectiveness rings, f effectiveness rings for me need speed, right? Um, hit set, but it's effect resist. Maybe this is a cool little piece for something like Tomarin, right? You want effect res, but you also want effectiveness. Um, so hit set's not horrible on her, and it also has hit set, 
uh, or hit uh, effectiveness um, substat. This one here is pretty good. Max rolls everywhere except the speed, but we're hopefully going to get some speed rolls uh, to help that piece out. Let's go for this. And we get a max HP roll, but, um, do I... Ooh. Maybe a slower uh, a slower debuffer could potentially use this, right? Look, two max HP rolls. Uh, low roll HP, but it has so much HP that I think I'm going to keep this one. That's a really nice uh, bulky effectiveness ring. I will take it. That's already at least 30 HP um, reforged, right? So I'll keep it. Let's throw some of these things in here. Test the speed, okay. One more. Oh, okay. Right, we're gonna revisit this piece. Um, these two pieces we're gonna revisit. I'm just gonna get more fodder from here. I don't think there's anything I really want. Let's keep on going. Uh, we have... That's an awkward... Maybe? Maybe. Another effectiveness ring. I'll take it to look for speed. This one's a little weird because it has a uh, effect res on it. Again, but potentially could be used for Iceria, Tomarin. Some PvE units actually do want effect resist to resist bosses and... Not bosses, but uh, to resist... Um, the little ads that spawn in in certain in certain um, stages. Okay, nope, fail the speed rolls there. Let's throw a couple things in here. Or let's just throw the plus six in here. Nope, two flat defense rolls. Okay, let's try feeding more stuff into this piece because it seems promising. Right. Ah, oh, flat HP. Unfortunate. Let's take it to plus 12 and see if we can get 12 speed. Nope. All right, that piece is kind of done. Um, I kind of want to see where this goes, though. Let's take that to plus 12. Effect resist. We can mod that out for something. That's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Consumables. Let's get some ring charms here, and let's get some more from the shop. So make sure you're doing your uh, weekly runs in Labyrinth, so you don't fall short on charms here. And let's go back to this one, because I want to see this in HP again. I really want to see it go into HP. Come on. HP. Oh, that was a good success. Come on, HP roll, please. Ah, oh, and it roll. Oh, the two speed kind of ruined this piece. Not gonna lie. If it rolled four speed, it's okay, but now it's missing too many stats overall. Still an okay piece, uh, might still run it on somebody, but mm, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, let's go back to the sanctuary and uh, keep on crafting. Crafting for speed. Rings, I want attack percent rings with speed. All right. So none of these, I don't really want to test that piece there, so let's keep on going. Uh, we're gonna test that one. We're gonna test this for sure. That's a nice one there. Uh, ooh. See, it's very... Very awkward when I see all these pieces, right? Like, they have speed, and I want to test them, but I also feel like it's just wasting my gold right now, right? We're down 10 mil gold. Two speed. 
I don't think two speed is worth going on this for. No, I don't think so. Alright, let's keep on going. Gotta be a little bit more picky with my gear. Can't have uh, standards that are too low. Alright, let's go with this one. Come on. Nope. No speed. Alright, effectiveness. Let's go for throwing a couple of these. Just I want to keep the speed set ones. You'll see why. Uh, defense, no. Uh, let's go for this one now. Throw that in there. Nope, I'm not even going to try to go for the roll there because I doubt I'm going to get the uh, quad speed roll. I know that, you know, if you don't do it, if you don't try it, you're never going to know, but I'm long resources, so let's uh, extract these. Alright, uh, what we're going to do is try a little bit of this right here, so equipment conversion. Uh, do I want effectiveness? I don't think I want effectiveness. Uh, crit damage though. Let's go for some crit speed crit damage set. Let's go for these two and see what happens. Uh, crit chance, uh, not really. We can test it for some rolls, but I don't think that's a keeper. Actually, I don't even think we test it for rolls. I've I already showed you guys at the beginning of the video some really good pieces that are kind of similar, and that's also not very good. Okay. Uh, we can go for a weapon craft, though. Let's see if we can craft a nice speed weapon here. Oh, hey, now that is a promising weapon, right? Th these are all duds, right, so far. But we can maybe get a good weapon out of all this suffering. So let's not plus 15 this right away. Uh, let's throw that in there. Okay, uh, <laughs> it max rolled, right? This All of this was max roll. That's another max roll. It's okay, we ignore the fact that it rolled resist, because it's not going to roll resist again. Um, what do you use this piece on? I mean, is it going to roll resist again? can't possibly roll resist. 30 resistance? Okay, no, just max. Wow, this is high rolling. A lot. But who uses this? It's like max roll crit chance and attack and resistance. Let me know what you guys would use that piece on. I'm going to keep it at plus 12 and locked. But let me know. I'm, I'm quite curious. Alright, let's do one last thing, and uh, then we'll call it here. I think we had chess pieces. We do. Let's do some speed chess pieces. I'm lacking those. Oh, now this. Now this could be a really nice chess piece for a lot of things, actually. Um, depends. Okay, now it's going down the kind of tanky bruisery thing. Okay, speed. There we go. That's what I wanted. I just wanted confirmation that we're going to get at least the speed roll in here. And if we can take this to plus 9 and it goes to speed again, I'll dump a plus 15 item in there. And it goes HP. I mean, there's crit damage there. This could be a good HP thing. Yeah, let's go for it. Why not? Let's throw this thing in there. Okay, I mean it went speed again. Sure. It's a low roll speed. Um, let's go for this. Oh, that was a good success. Was not expecting that. Save me some charms. Dump one of these. Come on, we'll do one more. One more here. Come on, HP. Another speed! Whoa! This suddenly became a pretty nice support piece. 
Yeah, I'll take a 16 speed chest. Okay, well at least we walked away with something today. Right, with that being said guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more Epic 7 content, and leave a comment down below Let me know what I can do to improve. And until next time, take care.